Hello. Hello. <laughs> I lost you. Yeah, we All right, can you see me now? Yes, perfectly. All right, let me see if I can shut you down here. How's that? Queridísima comunidad de Envola, estoy feliz, muy ansioso, emocionado, porque hoy en exclusiva vamos a conversar con un ícono de la industria del cine, de la industria de la televisión, y hoy un ícono de la industria del cannabis, Jim Belushi. Una historia en la que destacamos su participación en Saturday Night Live, According to Jim, y hoy en su última serie de televisión, Growing Belushi. Estamos emocionados y contentos de tenerlo aquí y de poder conocer un poco más de su carrera en la industria del cannabis. Sin más preámbulos, el tremendo Jim Belushi. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. It's it's a tremendous honor. You are going to be the headliner, the head speaker of ICBC Berlin. What are you talking about in the, at ICBC? Uh, well, the, uh, the type of... Uh presentation that I do is kind of a what they call a fireside chat kind of questions answers I kind of uh, I kind of steer my talk to what the audience is looking for what they would like to know about I mean there's so many different areas of cannabis and show business and the television show growing Belushi there's so many different areas to speak about I really kind of speak about what their interest is So uh, in, in an interview, we, we heard you came across cannabis by a suggestion from a close friend. How's that story? Oh, well, I, I, uh, I got this property, uh, you know, along the river, beautiful river. <laughs> nice. And then you see that fence? Yeah. And then on the other side of the fence is an 80 acre farm. And I bought that farm. <laughs> and I didn't know what to grow on it. And uh, Danny Aykroyd said, Oh, Jimmy, you know, uh, Oregon uh, just legalized recreational cannabis. Why don't you just grow some cannabis? And so you did. We started growing that. And that's how I just, I just started there. And then it just, when you get involved with this feminine energy of this plant, It takes you to where you're supposed to be, and I guess I'm supposed to be here talking to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Looking backwards now, do you think it has been a good or bad advice from your friend? <laughs> oh, well, you know, there's good and bad with everything, right? Show business, relationships. My relationship with cannabis has been on the spiritual and the knowledge <laughs> level and intellectual level, magic. It's been wonderful. On the business level, it's a difficult business. How so? Why is it difficult? Well, in the United States, you know, it, uh, every state has its own legal, you know, uh, requirements. And they differ from state to state. And depending on how they lay it out is depending on how you do your business. And some states aren't really good at it. California is not really good at it. Uh, they overregulated, overtaxed, and that actually ballooned the black market or the gray market or the illegitimate market. Let's call it that. Uh, Oregon is another one that gave out a lot of cultivation licenses for cheap. So all of a sudden there's too much cannabis. And so that brought the price way down. And when it brings it way down, it's very hard to have a profit margin. And so a lot of people are battling just paying their employees, you know. Um, other states where they have vertical integration and governors that understand or at least listen to other states have set things up a little better, a little more streamlined. They can balance the, uh, balance the compression of price, you know, so people can make a living. But there's a lot of people that were, you know, non-legitimate growers, the gray market, the old guys that were growing in Humboldt County in Oregon, like here, that switched over to the legal market and just got slammed. Their profit, they, they couldn't make a profit. And they were like, wait, what happened? So a lot of them are, went back to the illicit market. So there's a lot of overtaxation, overregulation. 
I'm going to give you an example in Illinois, which is one of the better states, by the way. The governor there is, is very sympathetic and supportive and has an open ear to the growers, and the businessmen. Last year, Illinois collected $478 million in taxes for cannabis. They also collected $278 million on liquor. So, come on. There's a lot more <laughs> liquor stores and bars than there are dispensaries. Yeah, what's going so on you there? You see the the over taxation, the over regulation of cannabis is just it's it's the new war on drugs. They used to arrest you, now they'll just tax you and they'll tax you to death and create a black market where you know there's cannabis that hasn't been tested and you want this stuff tested if it's going in your body you want to know what you're consuming and like with all this hard work we've seen you in growing belushi now it's it's here for everyone that has not checked it out yet we invite you to do this it's it's a very very enlightening series on uh how to uh become part of this cannabis industry by growing high quality cannabis uh Where's all that hard work taking you? Where do you see yourself going in this very intricate industry, in this highly regulated space that has kind of a crash? Where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? That's a good question. You know, I wake up four days a week going, I gotta get out of this business. <laughs> And then you eat your donut. Is it true yeah. that you still sleep with your donut by yeah. your side? Yeah, I love my donut. <laughs> And then three days a week, I wake up and go, you know what? There's hope for this business. Uh, where do I see myself in a couple of years? Uh, I don't really know because a lot of it's dependent upon the federal regulation and deschedulizing uh, cannabis off of Schedule One federally. And then it would, then it'll become a legitimate business with real banking, uh, some real, real business. It'll be, it would be really good. Uh, so a lot of us are hanging out until that moment happens. Do you think while we're perfecting uh, our knowledge, perfecting our science on strains and on medicine and what, you know, what terpenes really help, you know, what the entourage effect really is, the, the different cannabinoids. Like uh, I, I like a one to one to one, one THC, one CBD and one CBN, which really This little piece of chocolate I take like 2.5 milligrams under my tongue and it helps me sleep. You know, so there's sleep aids, there's anxiety aids, then there's pain medicine, there's there's all, PTSD. There's so many different areas that still need to be researched and explored. And I see moving in that direction to continue to find knowledge and understand the plant and its capabilities and uh we don't want to take much of your time we're already so grateful for your time <laughs> but um we know that there's been an issue with uh with a uh, organized crime and a burning burn over there uh could you describe that was a very shocking image to see when someone burned uh a barn over there how is that story Well, you're going to have to watch Growing Belushi to find out, aren't you? <laughs> There we go. Coming up next, then. Yeah, Belushi. you're going to have to watch the episode. <laughs> At the end of season two, our barn burned down and we didn't know who did it or how it happened. And then the first episode of season three, we find out. We'll see that happening then. Yeah. Well, so uh, any thoughts for your uh, presentation on the ICBC Berlin? Come, let's hang out, let's have a good time. And let's talk about the stuff we love to talk about and, uh, you know, learn from each other. And I don't know, Berlin's a cool city. I can't wait <laughs> to go to Berlin. All right, I guess I'll see you there. Are you going? Yes, I, I'll, I'll be speaking there as well at ICBC. Oh, are you speaking? Yeah. <laughs> What are you going to speak about? Uh, we're mostly focused on media and marketing in the space. We ha we have a startup company uh, down here. Uh, I could show you a little around, like, but uh, we have a very cool thing going, and uh, like people are interested in see how we created this this uh, company in a space that's highly regulated down here, and how it became the most watched cannabis media in Spanish, everywhere in the world. It's very interesting. Wow. Well, that's cool. 
Well, Mr. Belushi, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And I hope to see you soon in ICDC Berlin. And I hope to be able to talk with you again. It's been very enlightening. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Wade. Jarl, you want to say bye? <laughs> Speak. Speak. You want to say bye? No, you want to throw a toy. Now, you want me to throw a toy. <laughs> Almost. Next time we'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Take care. I look forward to seeing you in Berlin. Thank you so much. No, thank care. you.